Determination of working length is an important phase of root canal treatment. Inaccurate working length can lead to incomplete cleaning or it can cause over-instrumentation and violation of periapical tissues. In this video, you are going to learn how to determine working length using an apex locator in conjunction with periapical radiographs. The working length is defined as the distance from a predetermined coronal reference point to the point that the cleaning, shaping, and obturation should terminate. Apex locators are usually used to determine the working length. Following access preparation and coronal flaring, a file is placed into the canal and is slowly taken towards the apex. The size of this file depends on the size and the anatomy of the canal. The file holder from the apex locator is attached to the file and it is then moved towards the apex. After the file tip reaches the apex and the reading is stable on the apex locator screen, the stop is adjusted to coincide with the reference point. The reference point must be stable so it will not change between appointments. The reference point can be the incisal edge in the anterior teeth or a cusp tip in posterior teeth. After adjustment of the stop, the file is taken out and the length is measured. A sterile millimeter ruler is used to measure the estimated working length. A calculation to the nearest half millimeter should be made. After length determination with an apex locator, the final working length must be confirmed radiographically.